Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor. I am Sanjay. We are learning advanced code editor tutorials. This is our partner 14. Inside this video, we will see the concept that is how to use namespace concept for controllers and routes. So before going into the deep of this video concept, first of all, we need to understand that what is a namespace. So simply namespace we can say that namespace is a collection of variables, collection of classes, collection of functions which provides a scope of all those assets in our programming. Let's say that we have a code data for application. Inside that application we have an admin panel, customer panel, seller panel and inside admin panel we will have our admin controller and few methods which is associated with admin controller. Same as we have a customer controller and seller controller. So as we know that the scope of working of methods of this admin controller, customer controller, seller controller all will be different. So how can we separate the functionality of each panel inside our application? If we have a normal controller and inside a normal controller, if we include all the methods of admin panel, customer panel, seller panel inside a single controller, then it will be lengthy. And also, it will not be easy to understand that which method actually we are using for admin, customer as well as seller. So it's better according to functionality we need to separate, we need to create a separate separate controller. So let's create few controllers to understand this concept. We need a admin controller, customer controller and a seller panel controller. If I back to terminal, let's close this development server. We need three controllers. So before creating controller, if I back to code editor, app, controller and inside this controllers folder right now we have base controller, device controller and home.php it is also a controller. So what basically we do we will create three different folders inside this controllers one folder is for admin and inside admin folder we will have admin controller. The next folder we will have called a customer. Inside customer folder we will have customer controller. Means according to functionality, according to their associated methods, we are going to separate each controller inside each different folder. Back to terminal. Let's say PHP Spark. We need to create a controller. So PHP Spark make controller. We will create an admin folder and inside this admin folder we will create admin controller. So simply if I pass suffix it means it will create admin controller.php inside this admin folder. So if I press enter and here inside this command actually we have used backward slash actually we need to use a forward slash but According to the syntax, it has created admin admin controller. But we want inside the admin folder, we will have admin controller. So I'm going to delete that. Back to terminal. Let's say that the same command, but this time instead of backward slash, we will use forward slash. If I press enter, now as you can see that it has created admin folder inside controllers folder and inside this admin folder now we have admin controller.php back to editor go and reload so inside controllers we have admin and admin controller so all the methods all the functionality of admin we will put inside this admin folder now next let's create a customer php spark make controller we need to create a customer folder forward slash next we want customer controller so customer controller.php will be created inside customer folder next we need a sailor panel means sailor controller php spark make controller and we want first of all the folder should be sailor and the next the controller 
we should have sailorcontroller.php. If I press enter, created successfully. If I back to code editor, go and reload, now we have three different folders and inside each folder we will have their associated controller files. Let's create few methods inside admin controller, customer controller and a sailor controller. So inside admin controller, let's say we have index method. If I write a static message within this h1 element that is welcome to admin controller if I will copy this method let's say that here we have something list customers so welcome to list customers page if I will copy this method based one more time this is for let's say list sailors welcome to list sailors page now we need to create few methods inside this customer controller so open customer controller and one more thing that inside this admin controller look at namespace that we have now app controllers and admin which indicates that this admin controller is inside app folder, controllers folder and admin folder. Go to our customer controller. Let's say that within this echo h1 element. Welcome to customer controller. And inside this, let's create two more methods this is for let's say profile welcome to customer profile paste here let's say that orders welcome to orders page if i open this sailor controller and inside this index method let's echo within this h1 element Welcome to Sailor Controller. If I will copy this method, paste two more time. Let's say that list products. Here, let's say list categories. Welcome to list products page. And welcome to list categories page now here we have three different controllers and all the controllers have their different namespace it means a scope of working as well as different different methods now next how can we actually write our routes for all these controllers to create routes of all these controllers like admin, customer, sailor into a systematic way we will use the concept of route groups using namespace. If I go inside this config open up the file routes.php and inside here we have two options to create our routes. We can use the simple syntax like here for admin controller, customer and sailor controller. What I mean, let's say routes using get method. First of all, we are creating our admin controller. So admin, let's say admin and inside admin, we have our welcome page and it is calling admin controller and index method. If I will copy, paste one more time next method we have for the list customers if i will copy go here let's admin forward slash list hyphen customers list hyphen customers and this time this route is calling list customers method from this admin controller but inside last video we had seen the concept of route group so we will use route group concept instead of this normal route syntax because that concept is very very systematic way so if i will make comment of these lines let's say that we are creating routes for 
admin so routes will use group method and firstly we are creating admin controller means for admin routes so we will make a group of admin array symbol next we will have an anonymous function and inside this we will pass routes here and as we are using the concept of namespace for all these controllers so this time the namespace for admin controller namespace arrow operator and this is the namespace value if we will not include this namespace so automatically admin controller the application looks inside controllers folder but as we know that our admin controller is inside controllers and admin folder now next we need to create our rest routes like routes get this is for the welcome page and here admin controller and index method if, if I will copy paste few more times this is for list hyphen customers list hyphen customers and it is calling list customers from admin controller next we have list sailors so if I will copy list sailors and list sailors if I will save all these changes go and start development server back to browser go and reload now if I type here simply admin welcome to admin controller and when we type this list customers go here passing it here welcome to list customers page what happen when we don't include this namespace value now as we can see that it is not working because admin controller application looks inside this controllers folder as we have different namespace for our controller so we need to include this namespace key inside this array so simply what we have done for this admin we need to include two more times this is for customer this is for sailor and inside this customer controller we have the namespace as app controllers customer and for sailor if I will go and copy this namespace putting it here now we have configured a route group for admin customer and sailor so by the same concept we can create the associated routes of customer and sailor so this is what we have used the concept of namespacing inside this controllers as well as inside this routes configuration and one more thing if suppose we are not interested to create these route groups so how can we tell our application that by using this line actually we need to use the namespaced controller suppose if we make all these comment lines let's comment all those routes go and reload for this admin but as you can see that admin route is not working but here we have created add this is not working it's because this admin controller uses a namespace concept so how can we tell this route simply create an array write it here as a key as namespace and we need to use the same value what we have used here so if I will copy go and pasting it here if I will save all these changes go and reload and as you can see that it is working so successfully guys inside this video we had seen the concept of how to use namespace for controllers and routes so for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day